What's going on here? This feels so strange. Like it's my office? All right. We got to the perspective of the first game. There's a book missing. Ta -da. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. Big brain, big brain. Come on. Don't let our gold in there alone. Come on, dude. And hello guys, how's it going? It is me, Lazy B. We're alone in the dark on a boat. And we need to help and move it. Getting on with moving on. How the hell would we do, would we do that? No idea. I could, I could have, uh, you know, shot him if he gave me one second to pull my gun, but the buttons weren't working. Thank you. Thank you. Snail creature. For understanding that I can... Hell yeah! And be very afraid. Being very afraid. From my capabilities. The boat's wedged itself right into the bayou. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. I could. But would I? I do not know. Okay, we cannot go there. Do we go... Do we go... Down or up? I think I answered the question to me for the, my own question by myself. Yeah, we'll probably need to go here and then realize we need something from below. Somebody fell down. Hmm. We can lower it. That's interesting. Oh, hi. I'm all out of bullets. No, I'm not. Oh, really? One bullet. That's all I get. One freaking bullet. There's an axe. Nothing. Cool. A new melee weapon. Very cool. Nothing there. Nothing here. All right. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Or just empty stuff. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Going down it is. Going down it is. The winch is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Never mind. Do I have a map of this? No. No, I don't. So now we're going down. To figure out where you can get the electricity going on. Going on. That sounds like a forest. And that's a very tall tunnel in the way. Jeremy. Doesn't really give me a lot of choice, sees. A bunch of eggs. That's nice. Can I go down? No. Okay, there's 
a leather there. How do I get there? Ta-da! Or maybe it wasn't open. Alright. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. That's how, it ha how stuff happened. How many bulls did I use on this guy? Almost all of them, cool. And we got another pistol bullet. Great! I wasn't in this one? I'm quite sure I wasn't this one. Oh, I was here though. Maybe not. Huh. Okay, yeah, I was there. That's the way. Okay. Yeah. Jump down. Climb down. Even better. No. Oh, fuck. Really? You know, those are mostly vines. I don't see any metal leathers here. But I hear metal leathers for some reason. How could that be? Can you tell me? of loose screws wow we got one bullet for our machine gun one bullet that will save the day okay That, ex that makes sense. I thought I, I, I would need something to open the uh, valve. I didn't get why. But that's what I thought. Glug, glug, glug. This looks one of those, uh, like it's one of those water bottles that people get. The huge ones. They look like a freaking jerrican. Okay, am I just going back the way I came from? Alright. Fine with me. As long as nothing surprises us all of a sudden. There are all of those wines in one of our turbine motor thing. I don't know how good that is. Alright. Lovely. You? Oh boy! Still wasted four bullets on this dude.
Come on, you eggplant. Stop burning already. We have places to go. I'm all out of bullets. Where is he? I don't have enough bullets to deal with you guys. What the fuck? This one is barricaded. Okay, nice. Oh, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Yeah, that's what you get. An X to the face. A face X. Alright, no, 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 no. Oh, we got an unlim unlimited supply. Which, for some reason, I cannot get a new one. Probably this is where we go. suspicious here we go and there we go oh hi exactly two bullets oh and 20 oh yeah now this is what we're talking about hmm turn this one on Oh boy. I should have taken everything before I, I did that. I put a rope around my neck and then I strangled all the life from my body. Are you under the impression that you died? Other uh, white items there, yeah. come on. I was supposed to die. What does that mean? That you were supposed to die. That's the worm. A representation of it, at least. I had to die to make the story happen. What was you referring to, Jack? Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. Why is everything sinking? You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Come back. Find hey. your focus. Hey! They do not even I see me. I did everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny again. <laughs> find hey, focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in place. Hey! Yeah. I'm right here. Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did were you were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No, actually, actually, I don't. I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go look for Jeremy. Yeah. Good. Let me know if you find him. Yeah. Oh well. That was Jeremy's self-deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud. I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. Where the frick do I go now? Where? Okay, we got stuck there for a second. Carfia has something hidden inside. Ah, uh, that's why you need it. 
Uh huh. That's the worm. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shank? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Hmm. We had some of the other objective objectives here, but they kind of disappeared. All of a sudden. And well. This one is still closed. So we just go up and to Grace's room. See you there. What the hell happened in here? Unless something like this happens. Oh, that's from the freaking demo, isn't it? But there were other creatures. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's a lot of them. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, let, let me take my thing. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Ne what the f I'm stuck. Let me go in. Thank you. Normal. Normal. Everything is normal. Everything is freaking normal. And we get our stuff back. Everything is fine. Another one of those. Hmm. Can I rotate it? Aha. Here we go. Spooky. self turning is always great that's how you know you find something horrible horrible hmm that's a different room what do we have here nothing this looks familiar this is my office. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. Writing desk E. All right. That's me. Uh, okay, telegram. That's me, isn't it? How long have it been since I drowned myself in drink and depression? It all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Okay. I think I need to God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? We didn't get anything from there, did we? Or did we? I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Yeah, that's a room. That's nothing. And there's nothing here. Two things there, but it, it didn't show me nothing. Find the husband. Okay. Let 
That's where I'm going. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Oh. Alan Wake. That's what we're getting. A freaking diagram. Hmm. Ta da! This case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. All right, we'll figure it out, I guess. We will figure it out. Thanks to this red wire that appears from nowhere. All right. Yep. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice looking building. Now, uh, where to go over there? Got it! Alright. Water. There's water here. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his deals. So he needed some convincing. Uh huh. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. I'm full on shotgun ammo, really? First I'm hearing about that. So this is the first time I'm gonna use. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was uh -huh. needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking me to get the hell out. I don't remember this at all. Can't say it didn't happen. Good thing. Okay, wow. Anybody else? Wait a second, I saw their shotgun ammo. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, thank you. Now I'm back. That's very nice, nothing over here. Control to freaking sneak, really? Sneaky, 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 sneaky. You cannot see me. I'm sneaking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, go away. I'm sneaking now. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I'm sneaking. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, boy. <sighs> okay. So, not really helping the sneaking around, but... 
What can you do? I'll take that. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. This is the way. Okay, flashlight, you're needed. Ah, that's the painting. One of the paintings. Very spooky. How did she know about this place? How the freak does she know? More machine gun ammo, okay. Where does the tether go to? The line goes towards this place. Okay. On my way to the hotel, the Morgan gang caught up with me. I owed them money, a lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They be back. What the freak? Hiya, bit. Don't you? Oh, so those are also worm-like creatures, so... I know, I don't know. Bonk. Hiya, 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 hiya. Okay, very good. Now we have a lot of this, so we're gonna use this weapon. Okay, the Tommy gun. Why do we get lots of ammo? Okay, we're gonna go back to the pistol. Think. Think, think. Looking through other people's stuff. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. And hurried up to his room. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Hurried up to his room. Room AKA This Room okay. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Oh no, man. Uh huh. That's Here we right. go. He was running away, ditching his. It was empty a second ago. New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee, and he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is where I caught. Huh. 
this is what the <laughs> dark man wanted me to revisit. Okay. I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Ah, uh, beats me, dude. Beats me. Your memories, you should know. The bridge. Where the freaking bridge? Wait a second. Oh, this is with the flash flashlight on. Not sure about that. Side area. Okay, too much machine gun ammo. How about now? I think we should use some machine gun, just in case, you know. Alright, the bridge it is. Nothing ever badly happened to a bridge, on a bridge, with the YouTubers. Nothing bad happened. She's the pharaoh? She's the child. She is the child. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just so much is happening. I, mm -hmm. I think I've lost my head. You think? Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. Oh boy. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? What is what for? Form of admission of guilt. Oh, Make this acceptance. whole situation? That's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! Drown Please, with his daughter do it again. Yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? So we saved her, but we couldn't save him? Really save them. This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If and the house where I entered. That I entered. This house. The small one. I'm going. I'm going. Alright, what do we have here? Besides a bunch of crows. That fly into buildings. This must be where the bridge is operated. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's the something that's holding it back. One second, let me get my fizzy drink. Yeah, disappear. Oh shit, I didn't see you guys. Is that fine now? Oh no, there's... 
The thing is on this side also. That's nice. Pew, pew, why does it make bullet noises? I do not know. Alright. Okay. Alright. Here we go. What's the freaking difference? Couldn't they just docked under the bridge? It's so high. I don't I don't know what the freak I did. Is there like something beneath it? I don't know. Mino gets it. They got there waited for me. Otherwise I would have made it even worse, I wouldn't save even her. We're gonna be transported to something else. Oh, that's me. Okay. And I'm gone. So. Oh my God, Carnby. Are you okay? No, I'm Don't not. Have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! Uh, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out! Oh boy. Oh boy, Mrs. Thompson is mad. Hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. How you know? I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <sighs> This place. What? It's. There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how oh, this shadow has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Doctor Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily. All right. Don't worry. Hey, All close. right. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Oh boy. It really wants us to go this way. Apparently not. What do we do? Conby had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. He could what? have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. Yeah, well, what do you want me to do then, dude? All right. This one then? Do not disturb. Detective, am I glad to uh -huh. see you? Uh huh. We're to back together. You. I don't think Doctor Gray would appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. Like it's my office. Ah, all right. We got to the perspective of the first game. There's a book missing. Ta -da. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. Big brain, big brain. Come on. Don't let her go in there alone. Come on, dude. What? Oh, I think I'm right. beginning to understand. 
that this is kind of cool. Some kind of mass delusion. I know what's going on with the pixelated uh, blinds there. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Seattle, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. Uh -huh. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Uh huh. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the dark man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? Juan? No. John Juan. Juan Luis Jorge. Wait there a moment. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the author. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Page two. It's a magnificent book. Life-changing, even. The real one is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? He has a Fantasize very villainous about you read about. A voice. No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last. From day. Twilight? Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated okay. imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's nothing all at all. Inside your head. Uh -huh. And with that. I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time. In time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons. All the dark men. Yeah! Please, Mr. Hartwood, <laughs> calm yourself. <laughs> okay. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Uh-huh, of course. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? The Snake Dagger, a monograph by Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, oh boy. translated by Nicholas Vachy, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text. That it would be more appropriate with worm dagger from the Latin vermis cultrum. This seems natural All following right. the recent consensus that the original title of Prince book, The Vermis Mysteris, should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, uh -huh. this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prin certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Reading through Vahi's snake correspondence worm? with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts, and an actual okay. snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, sinusoidal. it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. 
There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. All right. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning. Or should Only stab the guy. This dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand. We should poker. stab Jeremy. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. Uh -huh. But to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. The okay. snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy. That it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to Depends on the situation, the I guess. ...are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the... We should stab him in the head. them partially blind. If they had the good luck to survive. Great. Lobotomy with the poison dagger? With a snake dagger? Maybe? Maybe. Hi. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, or Shubnigroth. <laughs> okay. can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Okay. Yeah, of course. What's in here? Ta da! Huh. Has that been there this whole time? Why did we switch to this mode all of a sudden? Ta -da. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Answer the phone. Huh. Can you go and answer it? Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Carnby? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the oh. list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Ba -ba -ba. It's very scary. Very freaking scary. You mean like getting out of this place? Is that it? Detective Conby wanted nothing more than to make sense to get the broken hall. clock. But clearly that was not in the cards right now. I don't know what I did, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. Of course. Oh shit! It looks the same. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I just you played okay? with you the arrow thing. Stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not. 
Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Mm-hmm. Now can we go? Leave her alone here? Well, she does nothing. All right. Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of... She doesn't medicine? see that? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. Yes. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Bruh. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. Bruh, she's something else. And well, oh shit. Here we are. We are in the North Pole, South Pole. We are in a very cold area. Where do I go? I have no freaking idea. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah, this seems to be a very good place to end. See you guys in the next one. Arvidarchi. And stay frosty.